the most powerful people in a group are not always the smartest or most knowledgeable. So why are they the leaders? Oftentimes, it's because of subtle body language that draws people to them. Today, I'm going to be talking about the secrets of powerful people. Hi guys, as always, it's a pleasure having you here. I appreciate it. If you're here for the first time and you like videos about self-improvement and happiness, consider subscribing down below because I'm here to give you tips and strategies to achieve your dreams and live an awesome life. And hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Now listen, if you want to become successful, then you should pay attention to your body language. I would go as far to say that it's just as important, even more important at times than vocal language because it subconsciously conveys how you really feel, even when your words might not. I think it's safe to say that most of us are looking for more success in life. Whether it be nailing a job interview, getting a promotion at work, or even branching out into your own business, there are ways you can be perceived as successful. We can do so much with our body language. These seven tips will make you seem more confident, which people will see as more qualified. Smile when appropriate. Some call this basic. I call it fundamental. We all know that smiling is a great tool in gaining instant trust and acceptance from others. However, the key is knowing when it is appropriate. When meeting someone new or giving feedback to a boss, yes. When discussing why you failed to hit your quota for the month or why your relationship isn't working, no. Smiling when inappropriate conveys insecurity and a lack of confidence. Know when to smile. A fundamental key. Don't give a weak handshake. If there is anything which shows submission when first interacting with someone, it's this. A weak handshake shows a weak person. And weak people are rarely successful. Whether it is a job interview, business venture, meeting with possible partners, you name it. It's important to give a firm handshake. Just don't take this to an extreme and turn it into a squeezing match. Utilize the facial triangle. People sure love to be listened to. It shows respect, trust and interest. Although solid eye contact can be great, it can be overly intense. Using what's called facial triangle not only helps to lower the intensity of gaze, but by rotating between the two eyes and the mouth, you show that you are reading their lips, a sign of intimate attention. What's great about this is that it applies to every direct communication scenario you can think of. Be aware of vocal tone. We all know that animals can hear undertones outside of human range. But the fact is that we unconsciously hear them too. And we make decisions based on them too. A high, nasal, thin voice can be irritating. But a broad, resonant voice can be soothing and attractive. That's because of the undertones. Studies have shown that hearing those soothing low tones actually makes people more efficient, 
while removing the low tones makes people less efficient. Those with the best undertones are natural leaders, and people around them subconsciously match their tones to those of the leader. Have you ever heard the saying, we are on the same wavelength? Whoever made up that saying was right. That's exactly what happens. Don't rub your palms, face or neck. We all know this one. The universal sign for anxiety and stress. This displays that you can't handle the work set out for you or are worried about how your work, image, business is being received. And if you lack confidence in yourself, others will lack confidence in you also. Successful people don't do this, not publicly at least. They show security and strength, even when the odds are against them. Don't look overly agreeable. Though it's great to be on equal terms with people, whether they are your boss or your employees, it's damaging to pretend that you agree when in truth you completely disagree. Don't be afraid to show a curious or even a bewildered expression. When a false statement is made, feel free to show a curious expression. Then follow it up with your reasons. There are some crazy people out there. If you are not disagreeing with some people, then you are probably doing it wrong. Don't exaggerate your gestures. It's hard to take someone who is overly flamboyant seriously. Exaggerating your gestures in an effort to come across as enthusiastic or confident will only cause others to think the contrary. There is no shame in remaining reserved. In fact, it is often a sign of maturity and mystery. Successful people know not to be loud if they want to remain respected. Though you may want to appear energetic for that job interview, too much is overkill. I'm convinced these tips will make you seem more confident and powerful. Just try them out and let me know what you think. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Please subscribe to my channel. Join this positive and amazing community. See you on the next one.